Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to send your Windows PC audio to two separate outputs, your headset and HDMI. Now natively built in to the Windows PC, you cannot do that. You actually need some software in order to make that happen. And there are various ways that you can do it, but I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way without having to get a bunch of accessories, without having to pay for any software. You're gonna be able to do this easily with the Elgato Sound Capture software. Now there might be several different reasons why you might want to do that. Now the most popular reason is for dual PC gaming. For me, that's what I do and I actually want to be able to hear my game audio and my chat audio through my headset while also still being able to send that audio through HDMI to a capture card to another PC so then I can stream or capture my entire gameplay and chat audio. Alright, so let me hop on the computer and show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing you need to do is download the Elgato Capture software. So go ahead and go to their website, elgato.com. Then you're gonna click on Downloads on the top right corner. Scroll down, make sure that you have Windows selected. Click Show All. Then we're gonna scroll down till we find Game Capture. And then we're gonna click on this blue download button right here. You can go ahead and X out this sign up. And then once you download it, go ahead and install it. And once you start to install it, it's going to be called Game Capture HD. Now it doesn't matter if you actually intend to use the Game Capture HD software for actual game capture, but you will need to install this in order to be able to install the Elgato Sound Capture software. Go ahead and install this and when there is a prompt that asks if you want to download the Sound Capture software, make sure you check that you do want to install it and then continue your install process. I already have it installed on my computer, so I'm not going to show you that process now since I already have it on, but it's that simple. Now here you can see I have the sound capture installed. Really quick, I want to mention that if you're using a wireless headset, such as what I'm using, the Astro A50, you're going to want to make sure that that's already plugged in and on. Now before you launch the sound capture, you're going to want to go to your sound settings. So right click on the little speaker symbol and click on sounds. Now you're going to want to go to the playback tab and you're going to want to set your Elgato sound captures as your default playback device and your default communications device. So once you have it here selected, right click and then right now it's not showing you because I already have it set. But let me see if I click on another one, there's a set as default device, set as default communication device. You want to do that to the Elgato sound capture software. So if I scroll up or down, you'll see nothing else is set as my default, just the Elgato sound capture. Now when we go to the recording tab, you're going to want to make sure that your headset microphone is set as your default device. Again, if it's not already, go ahead and right click on your headset and then set as default device. Then go ahead and press OK. Now we're going to launch the sound capture software. Now don't be intimidated, I'm going to take you guys step by step. We're going to first go to the team chat tab. Now for your output volumes, you can see here that you can actually adjust them. Don't worry about this right now, we'll focus on this last. Now under the settings, you're going to put what's your microphone for chat. Go ahead and choose your headset microphone. For me, it's the Astro A50. Then you're going to put where do you want to hear your friend's voices. Now it's important here that you choose that it's going out to your HDMI. Now for me, my HDMI of this PC is going out into this Elgato HD60S Plus capture card. So here it recognizes it. If you're not using this capture card, if you're using a different capture card, it might show the name of that or it might just say HDMI. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Again, this is going to allow my chat audio to go out with my HDMI into my capture card so my other PC can capture both my game chat and my game audio. Now under music, Here's where you can actually have music that's played on this PC going out to one of your sources. Now for me, I never use music on this gaming PC. This is my gaming PC, my other PC is my streaming PC, and if I want music, I play it on my streaming PC. But here, I do not, so I'm actually going to go ahead and select none. Now we're going to go to PC gaming. Now you're not going to select your headset here either, just like in the game chat, you're going to choose your HDMI output, which for me is the Elgato HD60S Plus, like I mentioned earlier, so I'm going to select that. So now I'm going to have my team chat and my PC gaming audio going out to my HDMI, which is going into the HD60S Plus. Now which output is your Elgato game capture device connected to? Here we're going to go ahead and select that same source the Elgato HD60S Plus. So I want my gameplay audio going out to my capture card. And then here it's asking what output is your Elgato capture card device connected to. 
like I mentioned earlier, the output is going into the HD60S Plus. So yes, these two will be the same source if your source is an HDMI output. Now we're going to go to advanced. Here it's going to say under settings, assign Elgato sound capture as your system's default device for playback, default communication device for playback. We already did that when we went into the sound settings. Make sure that these are checked on both. What's your audio input? This is if you have an audio input into this PC. Now with dual PC gaming, I do not have an input going into this PC. I have any microphones and other inputs that I want going into the other computer, my streaming PC. So this is not going to be used. So I'm going to set it to none. Now underneath that, it's going to say, where do you want to hear your audio? Now again, all your audio, this is where you can actually choose the multiple locations that it goes to, the multiple outputs. You see there's a mute symbol and then there is an audio symbol showing you that the output is going through. Again, we do want it to go to the HD60S Plus. So our team chat, music, PC gaming, any settings that we did here, all this sound is going out to my HD60S Plus, which again is my HDMI output. So again, if you're not using the Elgato HD60S Plus, you're using a different capture card, then that might show up here or it might just say HDMI. So if I scroll down, you can see the other options that we have. Now you can actually select multiple outputs. So this is going to actually go out to more than just your headset and your HDMI. This can go out to your line output, your optical output, etc. But for us, we're just worried about HDMI out, which is this one, and then our headset. Now with the Astro A50, you actually have two different options. You can choose Astro A50 game or Astro A50 voice for the headset. Now really these both work the same, but one of them does sound better. So if your headset also has two options, just toggle them on or off with your headset on and you'll actually be able to hear the difference between the two and just pick the one that sounds best for yours. I believe for the A50, my headset earphone sounds better. You don't want them both on. It actually degrades the quality when you have both of them on for some reason on the Astro A50. So now if I play a sound, if I just mess with this and you hear that little sound, you can see the output here moving, letting you know that sound is coming through. I can hear this on my TV via HDMI, which is the throughput from my capture card. And I can also hear this on my headset. Now, when it comes to adjusting the volume output for each individual piece, whether it's the team chat, whether it's the PC gaming or music, again, each tab can be adjusted manually for the audio output. So you can find the right balance for yourself. It might take a few tries to actually get the sweet spot for having the balance that you want. But for me, I actually have it all like this and it sounds good. I adjust my actual game chat audio levels in the game itself. So for me, I just leave it at 93. I don't have it full blast at 98. 93 seems to be a sweet spot for me. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. So now with my headset on, I can hear all the sounds at the same time that it's coming out to my HDMI. So I can hear it on my TV and it's going to my capture card. So if I want to just listen to my TV, I can turn off my headset and just have the volume up on my TV. Or if I want to mute my TV, I can do that and just listen off of my headset. Now, if you have external speakers or an audio interface, then you might actually want to have one of those set up. On this gaming PC, I don't have an audio interface. That's why you don't see it. But on occasion, I actually do use external speakers that are coming from my speaker output on the back of my computer. So when I turn on my bigger speakers, I actually go ahead and unmute it here from my speakers. So again, you have multiple sources. It really just comes down to what sources you want. But generally, I just want audio coming out from my HDMI and my headset. Now I can go ahead and close that. Now, for whatever reason, if you're ever turning on your computer and you don't hear any sound, you might have to open up your sound capture and go into advanced and just make sure that whatever output you want, whether it's your speakers or whether it's your HDMI output, make sure that it's not muted. Sometimes this will mute one of your sources or all of your sources for no reason. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but it's really simple. Just go ahead and launch the Elgato sound capture software and then just make sure that whatever source that you want to hear from is not muted on here. So there you guys have it. That's your quick and easy way to send your PC audio to two separate outputs, your headset and your HDMI. Now on this channel, I do have a lot of other videos that teach you how to use OBS, how to do PC gaming, how to do game capture, all kinds of stuff. I do have a link for that playlist in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.